Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with another trailer reaction. We're starting to get these again, which is amazing. We did Bill and Ted 3 last week. I'm doing Squadrons. There is a teaser trailer drop for Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League. And I'm going to do the Eurovision movie coming out with Will Ferrell on Netflix because I've been doing little big videos for months now and they're the ones that won the Eurovision contest in real life. I got to see what that's all about. But this one is Train to Busan Part 2. We've already seen trailer one a couple months ago, right around when all this quarantine stuff started happening. And now we are still living in it when trailer two drops. I forget when it's coming out, but it's probably sometime relatively soon, being as the last trailer I remember was months ago. So I remember it being amazing. I remember the first movie being amazing. The trailer looked great. I think it said five years later. It was either four or five years later. So there is a time jump. And we basically saw that people built like a compound to hide in and zombies are running rampant. And we have fast zombies along the lines of World War Z, but I don't think they're as fast and mobile as those somewhere in the middle of what you typically see and what World War Z was, I think. I definitely got to rewatch the first one. I remember when I first watched Train to Busan, the original, I didn't expect a whole lot going in. I think it was before anyone knew how good it was, and I kind of just randomly came across it. And I was blown away because the hype wasn't there yet, and it wasn't like, in my mind, overplayed. My expectations weren't that high because no one was really talking about it. So now the expectations are high and people are going to expect something. I want to see what trailer two gives us. I feel like the last trailer just had a lot of like in your face action scenes and didn't explain a lot. And if it did, I don't remember. So we're just jumping in. If you guys want to see more of what I do, other reactions to trailers or shows or movies, Patreon link at the end. If not, we're jumping in. This is trailer number two for Train to Busan part two titled Peninsula. Go back in there. Four years. Okay, four years. I thought that's what it said. Oh, maybe they are World War Z like. Never mind, I was wrong. I forgot. You get the truck? Come back with the money. That's $2.5 million per head. If you come back alive. What you doing, man? Okay. They are definitely like World War Z zombies. Hop in if you want to live. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, that's right. They had like a fight club with zombies. I totally forgot. There was some weird creature. How did I forget this? Yeah, they like molded them together. Just, I don't know what that is. I can't believe I forgot the fight club. <laughs> They're drifting through every zombie. Peninsula of oh, the Apocalypse. Train to Busan. They never say part two. I've noticed that in all their things. I just had a case of deja vu because as I'm watching it, I started remembering everything. There was in the first trailer, they showed there's like an underground fight club and they fought that mound of zombies. I couldn't tell in the first trailer and I still can't tell in this one if they are just zombies that are like melted together into a giant walking mound of zombies or if it's like a World War Z Game of Thrones type thing where they're just moving so fast they're like falling onto each other and running and climbing over each other. It looked like they were not able to move from the positions they were in though, which means to me that they were like sewed together or melted together or something. 
And now this time, I don't know if we saw it last trailer either, but they were writing numbers on the guys walking in, like the fighters. Is this like a coliseum and they just send dudes in and people gamble and bet? That's what I'm guessing. It's got to be more than just a fight club where you go to beat the crap out of each other just to feel good about yourself or something. That's what fight club was. It was about anarchy and just like getting through your day and going to fight club so you could beat the crap out of someone so you like felt some exhilaration with your life or something. It was mostly like waiters and people with like blue collar jobs that like hated dealing with people. And that was how you vented at the end of the day. You like, I hate everybody's shit. I'm going to go to fight club and knock the crap out of some people. It was like more than that, but you know what I mean? This looks like it's gambling and stuff like that. And it looks like these people are forced into it because they have no other alternative or they're just slaves to it. Who knows? But Lots of crazy action scenes, what I would expect from this movie. I did say in the beginning I couldn't remember if they were World War Z fast or somewhere in the middle. Clearly World War Z fast. All I know is I'm checking it out day one. Looks really cool. The lead guy looks really familiar, and I don't remember what he's from. The Asian guy who is the lead in this one. I don't think he was in part one. And I think I said that last time too. And I think people in the comments told me what he's from, but so many months have went by. I totally forget. I even forgot the fight club. So really awesome stuff. Definitely looking forward to it. I wouldn't say besides the fight club aspect that I saw anything much different than what I'm used to in these kind of movies, but that doesn't take anything away from it. It still looks like it's done well. And it looks like it's got a lot of CGI and shaky cam stuff. So hopefully it's done well. But we'll find out. You guys want to see more of what I do? Patreon link in front of me. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.